Okay, um, I've actually set the control down for like four or five hours. I was just bullshitting online. Um, so yeah, uh, we've already talked to everybody we talked to. Fridge. So kind of grass. Oh, so kind of grass is sitting in a pot in the fridge. Nanako may have brought it back from school. Hmm. Eat it? Yeah, hell yeah, eat it. See, I, I missed this one my first time through the school. My first time through the game. Om um, nom nom nom. You start to realize what you're trying to do in rebel. You stop trying to eat the grass. Your courage is greatly increased. However, you don't feel well. You decided to go to bed early today. <laughs> he ate Nanako's science project. But, no, not going to bed, because it's raining. Will something appear on TV? Oh, I'm on the edge of my seat. Hey, somebody's on there. Look. A figure up here. Seems to be a man. He looks like a high schooler. Hmm. The image is unfocused and it's hard to tell who it is. But... Looks kind of familiar. Did you try calling Yosuke? Ah, uh, yeah, why not? Dude. What's up? Oh, it's you. I was just about to call your cell. Oh, good. So what do you think? That was a guy, wasn't it? it either that or a really butch woman. I wish I could tell what he looked like. Let's get together and talk more about it tomorrow. Okay. You hung up. Oh, fuck this, go to bed. Oh, excuse me, speaking of going to bed. Mm. So, what all is going to happen these next few days? I'm ready to look. Great at your June. We'll now hold a meeting on our investigation of the serial kidnapping slash murder case here in Inaba. Sounds serious. Dude, take a breath. Ah. Oh, then does that make this place our special headquarters? Yes, exactly. Nicely put, Yukiko. Good job. Special headquarters. Hmm, it does have a nice ring to it. Yeah. Anyways, as for what was on last night. Yeah? Uh... Did you watch last night? I saw it too. I couldn't get a good view of the person's face, but it was a guy, wasn't it? Looked like it. You told everyone that you saw someone who looked like a high schooler. So that's how I looked on TV. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a moment. Didn't all the victims have one thing in common? That they were females with ties to the first incident? Well, there goes that theory then. That's what we thought. But we still don't know who exactly we saw. In my case, the image on the Midnight Channel changed after I was kidnapped, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, the screen got clear all of a sudden, and the program looked like some low-budget TV show. Come to think of it, maybe Teddy was right. Maybe we were seeing the other Yukiko from that world. Hmm. But last night, we couldn't clearly see whoever it was. Could that mean... he isn't inside the TV yet? Hmm. If so, then... Uh, he's still safe for now, it seems. Uh huh. I think that's safe to assume. You're so smart. If we can figure out who he is, can we prevent him from being taken? Let's kidnap him. Yeah. <laughs> and if all goes well, we might catch the killer in the bargain. But to do that, we need to know who the latest Midnight Channel star is. I hate to say it, but I guess we'll have to wait another night and see what happens. Hmm. Well, that means if my deductions are correct. Though the image was hard to make out, and we can't say for sure who it was, it was definitely a young male. But if that's the case, it goes entirely against our prior assumptions. Completely. Since we cannot identify the person at this time, we have no choice but to wait and see what happens. That sounded very professional. That's exactly what we just said. <laughs> shut up! <laughs> yeah, shut up! Uh oh. <laughs> You're so funny, Chie. 
egg. <laughs> If you show you're fucking adorable, you know that. Not again. Sorry. <laughs> Calm down. This is how Yukiko really is, huh? Who'd have thought? Seriously. By the way, about that guy we saw, I get the feeling I've seen him before. Me too, but where? Pretty recently, too. Oh, you too? Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing since last night. Well, let's check the TV again tonight and think about it more tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> are you done? Uh, when are you gonna stop that, you crazy hyena? <laughs> she called you a hyena. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Chie. Oh great, you just made it worse. <laughs> oh, I'm easily entertained. What do you want? Hi, everybody. Welcome home. Hi, Nanako. You're always here to say welcome home. <laughs> Bike? No, you don't want to talk about biker gang. You're too young. It's a bad influence on Nanako. It kind of is. Um, anything in the fridge? Uh, I can't eat any more science project, I guess. Uh, I shouldn't go out tonight, right? Yeah. Okay, no fishing. Watch TV in your room. Huh. Excuse me, I'm sorry. It's raining tonight. Again. Well, something appear on TV? Eh. Keep the blinds open. I love the rain. Hey! Hey, somebody's throwing punches. A figure appeared. The image is unfocused. You feel like you've seen him before. See, he's got a skull and crossbones on his shirt. Hmm? It's the nerd phone. Hello? Did you see that? Yeah. I think it might be Kaji Tatsumi. Yes. Get back, get back, get back. Alright, so we finally have a lead. Let's all get together tomorrow, okay? Again? Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. It's kind of off subject, but as long as you're on the line, hey, mind if I ask something? It's time for a totally unrelated subject, everybody. It's something I've been meaning to ask for a while. Oh man, it sounds important. So, what do you think about Yukiko and Chie? I mean, well, let's not mince words. Which one's your type? The fuck? Okay, um... If you pick both, you get a boost to your understanding. Neither, you boost your courage. I don't think it matters if you choose one of these, or what, anything happens if you choose one of these two. But... You can go. Oh, I had a feeling you'd say that. Really? Why is that? She's actually pretty interesting. I never knew she was like that. Why? A hyena? My image of her has changed completely, but I like her way better now. Hey, but don't worry. This is just between you and me. Oh, really? Okay, see you tomorrow. Right. You have... Fine. Don't hang up on me, boy. I hang up on you. I'll never do that again. I'll send him a text message. Like, Excuse me, sir! Another cutscene day. The one who was on last night. It's that guy, right? That guy? Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. No, 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 That man. No, 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 Yeah, whatever. Now there's an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Did you see the news special the other day? Yes. Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. It was really cool. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. Wait, what? You know him, Yukiko? Now that's interesting. Uh-huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. 
His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. Interesting. So I speak with Kanji-kun's mother from time to time. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Yeah, we could ask his mom if he's there, and he's be all like, Get bad! Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. Well, I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle in his family store. Are you sure about that? Alright, then let's get going. He apparently beat up a whole biker gang. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. Hey, wait, what? I, I, I'm I'm uh, counting on tripping Yosuke and running. <laughs> you decided to go to Kanji Tatsumi's house and to have a chat with him. A nice, friendly chat. He looks like the talkative type. Oh, hello. You don't look like Kanji. Hello. Hello. Ah, Yuki-chan. It's so nice to see you. I agree. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. Oh, okay. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. This must be a f It's alright. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. What a fairly important looking guy. Nice pants, bro. See, fuckers. What's up with him? Weirdo. Seriously. I don't know. Never seen him before. Yuki-chan, you're as lovely as always. I agree. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. Her mother, eh? What? Shut up. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? I am. Oh, um, well, actually... Give us news. I need all the news you got. All the juicy tidbits. Hey, this scarf? I've seen this somewhere before. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, you're right. Where was that? Uh... It was that place. Inside the TV. Really? Oh, hey, yeah, that's what they... Oh, yeah. That's right. That room with those faceless posters. It was the news. Ha, ha, ha. Then it's that announcer's. Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamano? The gasp. Well, kinda. Um, did Miss Yamano happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. Hmm. She actually ordered a pair, but in the end, she said she only wanted the women's scarf. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. Interesting. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we gonna do? Well, that part of the theory holds true anyway. How should I know? Huh? Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. Oh, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. Wait, no, I'm not done talking. Oh, it's okay. We should get going. No, not done. I'll come again, ma'am. Oh, what? Is that so? Well, then please say hello to your mother for me. Okay, the boss says we'll go. I guess we'll go. It really is connected to the first case after all. I already said that. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Well, they've done it for worse reasons. Damn it, what's going on? Come on, let's talk outside. Okay. Ah. Hmm? It's Kanji Kun. Is it? What? Quick, hide! Hide? Wait, what? Um, yeah, it's all hide over here. Hey, there he is. He's talking You're to that dude. Anyone, you know. <laughs> Shh, I can't hear what they're saying. He eavesdropped on Kanye's conversation with the boy. T Tomorrow's fine with me. Huh? S school. Of course I'm going to school. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to school. I'm going to school with this bullet necklace I made. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. Really? D 
Did he did he say he was interested? Um, he's, he's a little confused. He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but he's interested in me? Oh, uh, the gears are starting to turn away. Or grind or what? Shut up, he's thinking. Hmm? Huh? What the hell are you pricks looking at? Oh shit, we weren't hiding good enough. <laughs> Big surprise. Oh shit, run away! <laughs> well. Wow. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. He's even worse in person than on TV. He was gonna try and put all of us through a table. The one on TV last night was definitely Kanjikun. Yeah. I just realized something. I pissed myself. Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamano. Yeah, but she's not targeted, it looks like. But it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? It's a very loose connection. Uh, Kanji's a target. Yeah, that's what it seemed like based on the TV image. But his mother fits the pattern more than he does. Mm. Oh, maybe it's similar to my case. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. That's true. Because <laughs> her mother was the one that uh, dealt with Ms. Yamano more. Yeah. She was the one who dealt directly with Ms. Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. Hmm. Does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother? But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. Sometimes people do it just to do it. We have life. on the wrong track. Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? Hmm. Questions. I'm totally lost. This sucks. But we can't ignore this. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... Hmm. Hey, wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Something about meeting up at school? I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? Uh, Kanji's the murderer. Yeah, something did seem weird. Yeah, it's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. Are you sure? Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. All right, let's try staking out both Kanji and his family's store. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. That being said, Yukiko, can I have your cell number? What? No. Hey, was this your plan all along? Of course it was. It's shameless. Uh, no. I got everybody's phone number except for hers. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. I'm sure it does. While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? <sighs> for shame, Yosuke. You really sound like a pervert. You cad. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. Great advertiser for her giving you her number. Yeah. Want to hear dirty jokes? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way home. Expertly done, Yukiko. A good dodge. Ooh, she didn't hear a word I said. Burn. Okay, then. The stakeout is set for tomorrow. Who said steak? Hmm, stakeouts? Tailing people? Woo! I'm getting goosebumps. You decided to stake out Kanji in the textile shop tomorrow. <clears throat> oh boy, who wants to play the social link game tonight? Nobody? Welcome home! Hi, Nanako. You wanna talk? The boys at school pretend they're in gangs when they run around. Whoops! Little bastards! I'll go elbow drop them. Yeah, they in the front. Uh, there's a chill gulping melon cream soda. Hell yeah, I'm gonna drink it. Yum, 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 yum. You power down the entire bottle in less than a minute. The sweetness of the melon perfectly matches the taste of the cream. Yum, 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 yum. That actually sounds kind of good tomorrow. 
Go to bed early to prepare for tomorrow's mission? Yes. I can swear they say give a shit in that background music. Oh boy. New social link today. Mr. Target arrived at school. Yes, ma'am. Visual ID confirmed. You guys are nerds. Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break with mother issued rations in hand. Mother issued rations. Current status in the bathroom fixing his hair. The target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick on me. Pick on you. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Well, I think there's something more subtle. Huh? Oh, he's here. Quick, hide. See, we're hiding. He'll never see us. Thankfully, Kanji is, uh... It's the son of a genome soldier. I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. Oh, hey, dude. No, I, uh... I just got here, too. Well, okay. What in the world was that? It was a friendly exchange, I guess. Oh, anyways, we've got to hurry after them or we'll lose them. Yeah. Okay, then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji and the other will stake out the shop. Okay. Roger that. How should we split the teams? I have an idea. Uh, I'm gonna pair with Yukiko, yo. Um, I don't think it matters uh, who you pick. I think you go, you go with Yukiko regardless. I think you get like social link XP or something like that if uh, you pick one of them. But yeah, I'm going with Yukiko. Sure, that's fine with me. Yeah. Oh man, they're almost out of sight. Come on, Yosuke. Come on, dork. So I'm pairing up with Chie. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. We'll need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. Kick him in the ads. Oh, not in a million years. There'll be no need for that if we stay out of sight. Oh, Let's hurry up and go. Well, hello there. If those two will be all right. Um, uh... Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. Yep, we get to be lazy. So, shall we? Uh-huh. Let's go. Hey, kitties, can you figure out who I'm gunning for? No, can't you got it wrong. Wait, this one's for you. And she even brought me a, a beverage of some sort. Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that way. Do you think the culprit will come? Uh, uh ah, let's see here. Uh, you need courage for this one. No worries, I'll protect you. Huh? Oh, okay. Thanks. That should make her feel good. I'm counting on you. Oh my. It would be scary if the culprit did show up. I'll kick his ass. Her ass. But if they do, it's... I'll do what I can to help you catch them. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. I mean, I'm sure there's something I can do. You can heal a nuke, it's fine. Oh, sorry. I went on and on without realizing. I I guess I'm a little nervous. It's okay, Nukiko. Yes, that's what we call her, Nukiko. For reasons. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. Never mind the fact that we chatted that one time underneath the gazebo when it was raining, but, you know. Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. Yeah. But I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. <laughs> mm. The same is true for me. Oh, really? You sense Yukiko's gratitude and affection. Yeah! Social link with her. Finally. She's the priestess, just like Fuka. That's why she's so cool. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the priestess arcana. 
Priestess seems to always be likable, and Lovers is like, ugh, borderline one way or the other. You establish the Yuki Kawamagi social link of the Priestess Ar Archon. You may earn XP bonus when fusing personas of the Priestess Archon. Yukiko's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yukiko can now take a mortal blow for you in battle. Man, the first time that this, this kicked in for anybody, uh, it was with Yukiko. And I forgot they even had this ability. And I knew I was just gonna bite the dust. I'm just, it, it zooms in on me like, okay, I'm dead. And all of a sudden she knocks me out of the way and takes the hit herself. And I'm like, no! I, I actually like, like yelled in real life. It was like, oh god, I'm glad nobody came to investigate what that was. It's like, oh great. This, this is gonna be awkward to exclaim. Uh, exclaim? Explain. Yeah. And it made me mad and destroyed everything. You haven't yet asked Yukio for her cont contact information. Um, yeah, this is a Nerd Courage thing. Straight up. Huh? Uh, okay, if you want. Aw, oh, yeah. See, I just had to ask nice, and, you know, the hell with Yosuke. Can't always answer since I help out around the inn. But feel free to call any time. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You exchanged cell numbers with Yukiko. There seems to be no ch uh, no change over at the shop. You spoke with Yukiko about many different things. Sweet. <laughs> Meanwhile, back with the nerd squad. Yosuke, where are you putting your hand? Man, this is weird. I agree. Yeah, we definitely stand out. No, I mean them. I get, I get this weird feeling about them. Well, you don't think they're... Weird? What about them's weird? Eh. Uh... Um, I don't know how to put it. Oh, maybe it's just my imagination. I don't know. Hey, how do you think the others are doing? Uh, probably making out, well, hopefully. Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. <laughs> he got... <laughs> Guilty! <laughs> you caught me. Yeah, no. He's not like you. I'm far more gentlemanly about it. Yukiko doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. Really? You sure about that? Wait, are you saying he's interested in her? Yeah. Huh? I, I, I wouldn't know. Oh, I, I guess that does actually affect what he says today. Hmm, I wonder what happens if he would have said one or the other. Well, we don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> Yeah, we're manly men. We don't have time for that. <laughs> now I'm even more suspicious. You know something, don't you? Totally. I seriously don't know. It's not like we've been hanging out that long. <laughs> <laughs> the hell are you two doing? Oh, hi, angry man. How's it going? Oh, well, you see, we're... We're just two crazy lovebirds. Just a couple of nerds. Don't mind us. Uh, what do you mean, bird? <laughs> Play along, bird brain. <laughs> oh, Didn't I see you guys yesterday? Um, no. <laughs> it was the one arm man. Yeah, that never works. <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. Yeah. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. <laughs> um, look, we weren't planning on getting in your guy's way, and, and there's nothing strange about it, either. Uh, strange. Strange? Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? Whoa, 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 wait. <laughs> Damn it! Get back here! Say what you think! <laughs> you got it all wrong! <laughs> Just gonna chase him around the gazebo all day. Hey, are you listening? Damn it! He sounds really angry. It seriously ain't like that. <laughs> this is one re one of the reasons why I like Persona Four more. It's got more goofy moments in it. It doesn't have to always be dark and serious. <sighs> we regret to inform that our mission failed. God, you guys suck. There was nowhere to hide. Well, let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanji-kun will come home. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 
Oh, hi, he came home. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Jesus Christ. Hi. You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw. Wait, lovebirds? What? We are not a couple. Why are you assholes following me around? Oh, jeez. Damn it, what the hell's going on? I ain't saying this is you guys' fault. You guys? But, damn it! Uh, hello? What? What? Hey, uh, mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Huh? Strange? Strange, yeah? What's this strange stuff, huh? Are you saying that I'm strange? Whoa, wait a minute, calm down. Uh, no, 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 I, I didn't mean... Oh boy. You shitheads better get the hell out of my face or I'm taking you down! Groggy. What? Wait, why? <laughs> what do we do? I look like I'm choking! Oh god. <laughs> uh, you ran away from Kanji as fast as your legs would carry you. <sighs> Too much running. That scene was more funny in the anime, but still. Yeah. Well, nothing happened today, so I guess everything's okay. But it's already been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel. Hmm. If this is anything like Yukiko's case, it'll happen soon. Then we can't let our guard down. I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him. Yeah, maybe. Looks like we've got no choice. Let's go home. I'm wiped. Okay. I guess we should. Here, what's today? Welcome back. It, start, it started raining. I hope you didn't get wet out there. <laughs> it's up. It's fine. The boys at school pretend they're in games when they run around. Hmm, it's raining, eh? Nothing catches your eye. Um. It says go on the 20th. Ah, uh, oh, save it, save it. So, hmm. Wait a minute. What is this? Hang on. Uh, wait, is there no calendar in this? Ah, oh, fuck, there's no calendar. That's not under configure. No. No. Um. There's no calendar. Okay. So, let's see. Wednesday's the 18th. Thursday's the 19th. Friday's the 20th. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Why is that a good day? Friday's the 20th. Uh, mm, who's available today? Or the, that day? Uh, I'll, figure, I'll figure this out in a minute. Sorry. <laughs> Let's save and I'll figure out what the hell I'm going to do. Uh, da, 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 da. try to figure out a good day to do this shit. Alright, that's a wrap for now. See you guys for watching. I uh, will catch you in a bit.